What's the weather gonna be like today? You look outside the window. The sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. But you heard the weather report, and you know it's going to rain. So you grab an umbrella and head out for your day. But back in 1938, when New England's last great hurricane struck, nobody was prepared because nobody was warned. It's mid-September, 1938. At the U.S. Weather Bureau, young Charlie Pierce is filling in for two vacation and meteorologists. He's mulling over the weather data he received on the monster hurricane that's sitting off the coast of the Bahamas. It's situated between two high pressure systems. But something's just not right. This hurricane isn't gonna blow out to the sea. It's gonna head north and strike the vulnerable New England coastline. This could be bad. He calls over veteran meteorologist Charles Mitchell, who ignores his warnings. The current storm is weakening and will be blown out to sea. But the monster hurricane was moving north at an incredible 67 miles per hour, covering an unheard of 700 miles in just 12 hours. This was a monster. In West Hampton, New York, a man walks into a post office with his new barometer. He wants to return it. It's broken. He can't be reading this. In Old Saybrook, Connecticut, actress Katherine Hepburn has just auditioned for a major film role. She's out celebrating with a round of golf. On the ninth hole, she scores a hole in one. She turns to her boyfriend, Red Hammond, and says, I think something very special is going to happen today. In Long Mountain Pond, something strange is going on. Beavers are working furiously, dragging sticks, sod, mud, anything they can get their little mitts on. They're building dams. People look on curiously. In New Bedford, Massachusetts, a wily old fisherman is returning to the harbor, but he just went out a few hours ago. I ain't going out there. I feel it in my bones. A big storm is coming. At 3.30 p.m., a radio station in New York broadcast, The West Indies hurricane is in the mid-Atlantic and will move out to sea. People thought they were safe, but in reality, the storm was right on top of them. By late in the afternoon, the beautiful September day was over. The hurricane had arrived. They called it the Long Island Express, and it slammed into the New York coastline with a 30-foot storm surge. It dislodged boats, and people's homes were flooded. The winds were so strong. Roofs were being blown off of houses. Geese were flying backwards at 40 miles per hour. People were having their clothes blown right off them. The hurricane raced across Long Island Sound crashed into Connecticut. The river in Hartford rose four inches every hour. In New London, not only did they have to contend with the wind and the flooding, but there was a major inferno that had engulfed the city and no one could put it out. New Bedford, Massachusetts got walloped. Fishing fleets were destroyed as boats were hurled miles inland. This was a gigantic storm. The waves pounding the shoreline were measured on seismographs in Sitka, Alaska. Sea spray was hitting the homes of Montpelier, Vermont, 125 miles away from the ocean. And on top of the Great Blue Hill in Milton, Massachusetts, a gust was measured at over 185 miles per hour. And just as quickly and violently it had struck, suddenly it was over. It was time to assess the damage. Over two billion trees had fallen, 35,000 automobiles destroyed, 9,000 boats lost, and 700 people gave their lives to the great hurricane of 1938. Charlie Pierce may have predicted that the hurricane would strike the Northeast, but no one could have foreseen the massive destruction. The dams the beavers built at various ponds saved roads and highways that were used for evacuation. Coastal communities like New Bedford took years to recover and developed protective measures like seawalls, breakers, and limiting construction on the shoreline. Over time, advances in forecasting technology have helped us predict weather with greater accuracy, saving countless lives. But as the old saying goes, if you don't like the weather in New England, just wait a few minutes.